Shalom. First and foremost, I'd like to give all praises and honor and glory that's definitely due to Yahweh Bahashim, Yahweh Shah, Bahashim, Rakak Radash. I'm from the Prophets in Babylon out of the Waco, Texas camp, affiliated with the branch of Prophets in Babylon, Tampa Bay, Florida. My name is Afiat. I'd like to give a special double honors to the elders and apostles on down at Great Millstone, those fine, sincere brothers who teach well and who rule well and are great examples to us brothers out here. And peace and salutations to the elect of the nation of Israel. Lesson for today, to them it was given. Yeah, um, and through the spirit of Yahweh Hashem Yahweh Shai, I come up with this video because uh, you got men like this Jake named Hassad and and then uh, Vocab Malone, of course, who uh, who have been coming up to, to camps and asking questions. And basically these questions are repetitive questions. And, and you know, these questions that they ask, they have been answered, but they come back and answer, the, you know, ask these same things over and over. I guess expecting to get a, a, a different answer or trying to dialogue or, or, or uh, get a, a, a debate going but at the end of the day you know beginning with the elder apostles on down who we have learned from through the spirit of Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shah first and foremost you know there's there's no uh, no need to debate you know at the bottom line is you know that it is the truth and when there's when it's the truth the truth can't be debated you know but these men are foolish men and through the scriptures you know um, we're going to bring it out and, and Lord willing I hope and pray that this will be an edifying lesson to you brothers and your sisters out here because First and foremost, you have to have the Holy Spirit of Yahweh Hashem, Yahweh Shah on you to understand, you know, and be in a spirit of humbleness to receive this. And these men are, are arrogant men, you know, and if they know so much, then they shouldn't even be going up to none of the camps in the first place, you know. So first scripture I come up with was uh, Matthew chapter 13 and 10 and the disciples came and said unto him why speakest thou unto them in parables verse 11 he answered and said unto them because it was given unto you to know the mysteries of the kingdom of heaven but to them it was not given yeah so there they were you know meant to to receive this truth and knowledge you know and you know when you're trying to receive truth and knowledge and y'all by shim y'all is putting the spirit on you to understand you're not coming up to debate you you're coming up to 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 learn to grow you know because at the end of the day the brothers you know, beginning with the elder apostles on down at GMS, have the truth, you know, and that's it. And it's through the spirit of Yahweh Hashem, Yahweh Shah, all this happens, you know. But at the end of the day, you're going to always have fools like uh, this Jake Hassan and, and, and Vocab Malone, but we got scriptures for that too, so we're going to get them. start here in the book of Proverbs Proverbs 1 and 22 how long ye simple ones will ye love simplicity and the scorners delight in their scorning and fools hate knowledge yeah so Really, um, at the end of the day, 
these are simple men and 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 um you know they just like this scorning and, and they had and you know there are fools who hate knowledge you know because at the end of the day you come up to the camp to learn but you asking questions and then at the same time you're sitting out here you know doing uh videos you know and 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 you botching up the scriptures you know Proverbs chapter 18 and 2. A fool have no delight in understanding, but that his heart may discover itself. Yeah, so, you know, fools have no delight in understanding. You know, they, they're, they're only more about themselves than it is about learning this truth and knowledge of Yahweh Hashem, Yahweh Shah. And at the end of the day, this, um, uh, truth and knowledge is only for the elect and the elect will understand you know it's only through the spirit of Yahweh Hashem Yahweh Shah that this happens you know and really at the end of the day these men despise wisdom and knowledge you know book of Luke chapter 10 verse 16 he that heareth you heareth me and he that despiseth you despiseth me and he that despises me despises him that sent me yeah so these men who come up in that spirit of, of debate uh, constantly asking the same questions over and over and, and, and brothers have, have uh, answered these questions you know really what it is they despise you you know the brothers who, who, who go out here in, on the highways and the byways to teach this truth and knowledge you know doing as uh commanded by Yahweh Shah when he said go out and feed my sheep so you know if you despise the the, the men of the Lord then you despise Yahweh Shah and if you despise Yahweh Shah you despise the heavenly father whose name is Yahweh. You know? And that's all that's the bottom line, man. You know? Let's go back in the Proverbs. Proverbs chapter 23 and 9. Speak not in the ears of a fool, for he will despise the wisdom of thy words. Yeah, so men like Hassan and Vocab Malone, you know, who come in that, uh, men like that who come in that spirit of asking questions, over repetitive questions over and over, and, you know, brothers answering them, you know, they really despise the words and they despise wisdom, you know. Second Timothy chapter two and verse sixteen, but shun profane and vain babblings, for they increase unto more ungodliness. Yeah, so you want to shun, you know, profane and vain babblings, you know, because they will increase into more ungodliness, and these men are, you know, coming to it in a spirit of ungodliness, you know, you know. 
coming up and, and, and like I say, brothers are answering their questions and they're still asking the same repetitive questions over and over again, you know? So, you know, men like that should be avoided. You know, the, uh, the beloved brother Elder Apostle R say, you know, call the, call the laws on these men. Cause I mean, basically it's like harassment, you know? And at the same time, you know, you use uh, 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 discernment on that on the situation, you know what I'm saying? But but at the end of the day, men like this who at, who are in that spirit should be avoided, you know. So, um, Lord willing, I hope and pray that this will be an edifying lesson to you, brothers and you few sisters out here. And once again, I like to give all praises and honor and glory that's definitely due to. Yahweh by Hashem, Yahweh Shai by Hashem, Rikakadash. Special uh, double honors to the elders and apostles on down at Great Millstone. And peace and salutations to the elect of the nation of Israel. Until the next time, Lord willing, I'll say Shalom.